Hi, this is Jack from Distilled Games. This week for Bear Brewery, we worked on the conveyor belt system. We wanted to make it more aesthetically pleasing by adding some curved conveyors, some like splitters and mergers just to generally make it more clear where items are actually moving. I think it's turned out quite well. I think it looks a lot better than it did before. Uh, there are some bugs, uh, some occasional things that go wrong when you play certain conveyors in weird kind of ways, which I'm trying to polish out now. But in general, I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. So originally we intended on having three different types of conveyor belt that you could place independently of each other and they would connect together so we'd have the normal conveyor, a curved conveyor and a T-junction. However I thought it'd be very cool if we could just have the one type of conveyor and as you placed it automatically detected depending on the rotation if it should be a curved or a T-junction and potentially a, a crossroad later on. This was a lot harder than I expected and it took a lot longer than I had hoped for but now that I'm starting to see the results I'm quite happy that we went down this route. So you can see here, this is on double speed, so it's a little bit fast, but um, you can see me placing the conveyors and it automatically detecting which conveyor belt to actually place. And they all connect up and they all work with the conveyor belt system as it did before, but I think they look a lot nicer than they did before, and I think it's quite intuitive. We intend on doing some testing for this and seeing if people actually like this system. If people like it, I'm going to spend some more time polishing it and trying to get rid of all the bugs. And if people don't like it, that's completely fine. We're going to go back to the drawing board and try a different conveyor belt system just because it's the base of the game, it's quite important to get right. I'd also want to mention that the uh, current textures used for the conveyor belts are completely temporary. They are just for testing and prototyping this uh, current system. We do plan on upgrading them and making them look way nicer once we've decided on a system that we want to stick with.